All right, everybody, welcome back. This is chapter three, section two, solving inequalities with addition and subtraction. Uh, the do now wants you to kind of recall the inequality symbols that we've used in the last several lessons. So the less than or fewer than symbol, less than or equal to, greater than, and greater than or equal to. The vocabulary term for today is equivalent, and that's numbers or expressions with equal value. Equivalent, equal. Equivalent inequalities are inequalities that have the same solutions. Write an inequality that is equivalent to the inequality that is given. So we did this in section 3.1. You're just taking the inequality that's given and flipping the entire thing over. So instead of 10 being greater than or equal to negative 3, negative 3 is less than or equal to 10. Since negative 7 is less than negative 1, then negative 1 must be greater than negative 7. If b is greater than negative 10, negative 10 must be less than b. If h is less than or equal to 0, 0 must be greater than or equal to h. They want us to cross out the equations that are not equivalent to x equals 3. Well, 3 equals x and x equals 3, those are equivalent statements. x equals 1 third, no, that's not the same. x plus 2 equals 5, well, that's an interesting one. x plus 2 equals 5. If you want to get x alone, you minus 2 from both sides x equals 5 minus 2 is 3. So that's an equivalent equation. x plus 2 equals 5 minus 2. Well, we'll keep the left the same right now, but 5 minus 2 is 3. And then if you subtract 2 from that, you get x equals 1. So that's no good. I'm just going to remove that for now so we can work. Cross out the inequalities that are not equivalent to x is less than or equal to 3. Again, 3 is greater than or equal to x is an equivalent inequality. x is less than or equal to 1 third is not. And let's try this again. If I subtract 2 from both sides, do we get x is greater than or equal to 5 minus 2 makes 3. So this one's good. And again, if I were to subtract 2 from both sides here, we would get x is less than or equal to 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 minus 2 is 1, and that is not equivalent. Using the addition property of inequality. What are the solutions of n minus 5 is less than negative 3? Graph the solutions. So they give us the original inequality, n minus 5 is less than negative 3. And what they want us to do is add 5 to both sides. So I'm going to place a plus 5 and a plus 5. My negative 5 and positive 5 will cancel, and we're left with n is less than and negative 3 plus 5 is a positive 2. So which of our graphs have an open circle at 2 and the arrow goes left? And the only one that fits that description is choice 3 in the bottom left corner. We have an open circle at 2, and all of the values less than 2 are represented by the orange line. Writing and solving an inequality. What are the solutions of m minus 11 is greater than or equal to negative 2? Underline the correct words to complete the sentence. To isolate the variables, I see a minus 11 in the inequality itself. So we need to add 11 to each side of the equation. 
So let's do that. Plus 11, plus 11. My negative 11 and positive 11 will cancel, and m is greater than or equal to negative 2 plus 11 makes a positive 9. So we need a closed dot, and the arrow is going to go to the right. So a closed dot on 9, which would be in between 8 and 10. If m is greater than or equal to 9, all the numbers greater than 9 are to the right. Okay. Using the subtraction property of inequality, what are the solutions of negative 1 is greater than or equal to y plus 12? So the first thing we need to do is subtract 12 from both sides of the inequality. Minus 12, minus 12. My positive 12 and negative 12 cancel, and a negative 1 minus 12 more makes negative 13 is greater than or equal to y. But when we write inequalities and when we graph them on the number line, we would like the variable written first, the letter. So take our entire inequality and flip it over. y is less than or equal to negative 13. Now we know it is a closed dot on 13. And the arrow is going to the left. So I'm going to put a closed dot on negative 13, which would be right here. And our arrow is going left. So it says check your solution. Uh, so I'm going to pull out some values and plug them into our inequality. Is y, we have negative 1, is greater than or equal to a value for y plus 12. Negative 1. Negative 1 is greater than or equal to a value for y plus 12. So I'm going to plug in two values that appear on the line. We have negative 14, and for argument's sake, let's use negative 15. So negative 1 is greater than or equal to negative 14 plus 12 makes negative 2. Is negative 1 greater than negative 2? Yes, it is. Negative 1 is greater than or equal to negative 15 plus 12. Well, negative 15 plus 12 is negative 3. Is negative 1 greater than or equal to negative 3? Yes, it is. Writing and solving an inequality. A club has a goal to sell at least 25 plants at least 25 plants. Club members sell eight plants on Wednesday, nine plants on Thursday. What are the possible numbers of plants the club can sell on Friday to meet their goal? Circle the inequality that means at least. Well, at least means they wanna sell 25 or more. So more would be greater than, but they could sell 25, so greater than or equal to would be the correct inequality symbol. So, we have a model here of our equation. Plants sold Wednesday plus the plant sold Thursday plus the plant sold Friday is at least 25. P is going to be the plants sold. Okay. We know that there were eight plants sold on Wednesday. We know that there were nine plants sold on Thursday. What we don't know is the plants sold on Friday. So P is gonna be the plants sold Friday. Is at least, which we said is greater than or equal to 25. So what they want us to do is simplify and solve. We have eight plus nine plus p is greater than or equal to 25. 8 plus 9 is 17, plus p is greater than or equal to 25. To isolate the variable p, 
we need to get rid of a plus 17 by subtracting my positive and negative 17 cancel and P is greater than or equal to 25 minus 17 is 8. So club members must sell at least 8 plants on Friday. This is some independent practice. I'm going to do one for you and you guys can try the remainder of number 5 as well as the exit slip on your own. The first example has x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 18. We're going to subtract 8 from both sides. Our positive and negative 8 cancel, and we get x is greater than or equal to 18 minus 8 is 10. Put a closed circle on 10, and values greater than 10 are to the right. Okay, try the remainder on your own. I will check them when you submit.